What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys my updated MLG variant S&D classes, and if you guys didn't know, I had a previous video for my S&D classes, however a couple hours later there was an update, and it made them pretty much useless, so I'm bringing you guys an update, I waited a while, experimented a little more, and before I get into the classes, I'm going to go over two pro tips and you'll you'll be able to see some of the classes when I do this but I'm going to show you the two pro tips that I mentioned in the title real quick so first of all you notice that I have a ghillie suit on and what you do for this is you go to special and you go to ghillie suit and ghillie suit isn't banned right now but it really does conceal you but here's here's the pro tip part of it because a lot of you have seen nade shot doing it but I don't know if you guys have known that you can change how your camo looks now this was new to me I just accidentally hit it and I noticed it I don't know if you guys know or not but that is something that's really awesome you know to change it depending on your surroundings or whatever depending on what map so just make sure you change that for each map if you really want to get really far into it and then the second pro tip is in the classes when and you can only run specialist now for MLG variant do not put on a third perk for specialist what this does is it allows you to get your bonus at 8 kills instead of at 10 or 11 depending on what perks you have on and this is just so that you can get a bunch of perks at 8 instead of you know just one at like 10 or whatever and then getting all of them later on and everything so you know you just th this is the other pro t per uh, tip that a lot of pros have been using you guys have probably seen this but just so you guys know those so getting into the classes my first one is my assault rifle slaying class and this consists of the Remington with the reflex sight and the muzzle brake and I got a blue dot sight just because I like the blue dot and then for perks I've got quick draw, dead silence, focus, tack resist, blast shield. This is just to make sure that I stay alive. That's what this class is all about. My next class is the assault rifle tactical class and this is one where if I'm going to be, you know, pushing up with the team and, you know, stunning and nading, checking bombs or whatever, it's just to, uh, it's more of a checking class, you know, or just to help with the rush off the start or whatever, just to make sure the enemy team can't push up too far in places that we don't want them to be. And what I did is I took off Blast Shield for this one and put it into the specialist bonus. Then, getting into my Sub Slayer class, I've got the MTAR with Muzzle Break and Foregrip. And then for perks, I've got Ready Up, Marathon, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, Focus, and Tack Resist. So, this is all about staying alive again as well, and that's why I have Blast Shield as the earliest one for my Strike Package there. And it's just to be able to move around and, you know, stay alive. And if you guys noticed, I don't have Quick Draw on. Instead, I have Steady Aim and Ready Up, and that is because for some machine guns, I don't really like to use Quick Draw anymore. Um, you know, I've, I've found that you don't really need it on a sub. Steady Aim and Ready Up are just way more important to me. And if you guys have seen Jcap's video on um, Steady Aim on the MTAR, where he got that insane kill in a GB match, oh my gosh, you, you, you would know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. If not, you need to go find his channel and check that out. So, the next class, and why hold up all right this class is a little bit messed up i gotta fix this real quick i don't know why that perk was there that is a banned perk don't use it but anyway so i got this is my submachine gun russian class i've got the vector with muzzle brake and foregrip and then i've got a concussion for my tactical and then a ready up marathon steady aim dead silence resilience and focus and then you know for the strike package i've initially got the attack resist and blast shield and then you know the the bonus you can just put whatever you really feel like I mean you're gonna get a lot of perks for it so you know it's it's all personal judgment there and then I've got my submachine gun vepper class and this one I do have quick draw on and this is a class that I change around a lot this is my experimentation class it changes from a submachine gun to an assault rifle you know I, this is just the one that changes but the vepper you know the iron sights are amazing the recoil is very manageable fire rate's pretty good the damage is a little bit weak though and that's the problem with them that i'm having with this gun right now i'm not sure if this is going to stay a part of my class setups into the last one and this is the more special one it's my sniper overkill class so i've got the l115 with the thermal scope and chrome lined you want this for increased damage and better visibility so that you can lock onto enemies better thermal scope if you guys haven't tried it yet on a sniper is extremely important to have in competitive then for my secondary, I've got the MTAR with foregrip. This allows me to have a rather good secondary 
that can shoot, you know, medium range, short range, and then have my primary be able to do the long range killing. And then for perks, I got quick draw, dead silence, focus, and overkill. And then for the strike package specialist perks, I got attack resist and blast shield. So yeah, guys, that is all of my classes, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.